what is the strongest actual steroid on the planet. Now, this is going to be a very academic, chemically oriented video for you guys. Because, you know, back in the day, the beginning of this channel, I had all the steroids, Trend, Dianabol, Anadrol, Anavar, and I was able to make those videos looking at scientific papers and then talking about the clinical effects. This is kind of back to that, but this is a warning, and I'm begging you guys. This is a warning because these drugs... Look at number six place. Trend is down at the bottom. Number one is this drug we're going to talk about right here, dimethyl trienolone. This is research stuff, guys. But when it comes down to, hey, what is the strongest drug in the world, steroid in the world, you have to go to the science, and then, but you could look at what's the more common strongest drug used clinically, and that's Trend. So that's interesting, right? And there's other drugs, Anadrol. There's so much details. That's why this channel in this world is so amazing. Steroids and just even testosterone. Again, guys, there's dangers on this, but there's some beauty with testosterone replacement if you need it and all this great stuff. But this is back to the day of the channel where I'm doing the straight chemistry for you guys. And a lot of you guys can do this. This is definitely stuff that clinical doctors, why would they know about these drugs? They're not used. And I want to get comments. Is it being used? Are guys apart in North America? We don't see this drug in North America. I mean, I know some guys do. Don't, don't tell me you, it's not there, doc, because it is. But you know it really isn't. It isn't. Metren is, but the, this one up top is not. But it, is it going to be used? It's super, super, super toxic. It seems like guys really know that. And I'm here to show you the truth with science. So let's get to the science, guys. Here it is. The number one absolute strongest androgenic anabolic steroid on this earth right now from the history 1960s dimethyl trienolone ru2420 when we look at this drug we have to look at the cousin drug number two position which really was a drug in the 1960s for advanced breast cancer methyl trienolone now when we look at the strength of these drugs the scientific guys back in the day had kind of two or three ways to do it. One of the ways was they took a rat and they buy it, they would expose it to the drugs, they would compare it to like methyl testosterone, like just base testosterone. And they would measure the anabolic, which is a muscle uh, in the, the rat's leg, and then the androgenic was, what does it do to the rat's prostate? And it's a real, then they would biopsy and they would, they would weigh it and see the effect. Again, that's when you get these numbers. Look at the number two position, which was a real drug, because we're going to compare number one to number two, because this one really doesn't exist, but it's scary that it does exist right out in the world. So when they looked at those androgenic anabolic ratios in the, man, in the rat, this, the base one here was six to 7,000 androgenic on the prostate tissue, anabolic on the muscle, 12 to 30,000. Oh my Lord. It just blew it off the, the, the range when they were doing, when they were doing mathematical comparisons, that's just the numbers they come up with. It's not that it's actually this much more powerful than methyl testosterone because it, it, it isn't, but that's just the ratios. I want to explain that. But when they did come down to the comparison of this drug, methyl trienolone, which was a real drug in the world in the 60s, limited time, they said, and again, these are these are these are kind of gauges, you know, they're very crude gauges. 120 to 300 times more powerful than methyl testosterone. Whoa! Now, hold there, the doses. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're concerned for your testosterone levels. In addition to testosterone, you want to check sexual binding globulin, estradiol, free androgen index, and potentially cortisol. That's where I want to talk about today's sponsor. Let's get checked. They're a worldwide leader in at-home test kits, so you can get a comprehensive look 
at your testosterone levels and other labs without even leaving your home. You can order a test kit that will be delivered to you in discrete packaging. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five business days. These results are reviewed by a clinician and a member of the Let's Get Checked nursing team may call you to review your results. Let's Get Checked laboratories are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation for labs. So if you want to test your hormone levels without having to leave your home, visit trylgc.com. Hold there the doses, 0.5 milligram to one milligram a day. Even guys talk about it on a weekly basis. This is crazy. Super toxic, most toxic liver toxic drug steroid on earth. Forget Dianabol and Anadrol. This is super toxic. That's why I'm telling you guys, if anyone tries to sell this to you, you, you think you want to do this, think again. Trend is all the way down here as far as the clinical potency compare, when you compare for the scientific stuff. Again, no one's going to argue it. It's not even used really, right? It's scary if it is used. Don't use this. Any of this stuff, of course. Even Trend is down at the bottom. But now that I've explained this number one drug in the world that's used, it's number two when you look at what they did mechanically. This, is, this drug itself is an oral methylated trend. It, it's, that's what this is. When they, when they say dimethyl trienolone, trienolone, it means it's got two methyl groups, the 17 alpha alkylation on that 19 nor, tes nor testosterone drug, and they added another one. It's the seven, it's a it's a it's a seven alpha methylation. And that potency, what that does to it for its abilities to just stay off the receptors and be so powerful as an androgen receptor stimulator is that's the science. This is how this stuff works. And I'm solely not a PhD in organic chemistry and androgens. I can only imagine what these guys know. It's crazy. When you look at this drug right here, though, you have to, again, understand the first drug 120 to 300 times. This one's more. You won't even see not numbers on it. You know, but when they talk about this androgenicity versus anabolism in the rat, this is greater than 10,000 on both. Boom, it just says greater than 10, greater than 10. You'll see that. It's a research never, this dimethyl trenolone was never commercially produced, but it scares me that it's out in the world. These are, these are bad guys, man, that are making this and selling this to people. Give me some comments, guys. Do you think that's a good guy that's doing that? I want to come down on these guys. This is really crazy that they would do that. This stuff, the, the number two position was the most liver toxic steroid ever seen and discussed in the literature. And this is number two. So this one's number one, again, because this is the cousin. It's dimethylated. All right. Let's keep moving. Number third position. Number third position, check drops. This is a 7-7 dimethylated nandrolone derivative. Again, see this, see what's going on here? These nandrolone drive drugs. And they start methylating this. They start messing with these functional groups. It is so powerful. This is back in the 1960s. Look, 67, 65. This is back then too. Maybe even the 50s. So this one was said. This is the data I'm giving on this video. It was 41, 41 times more anabolic. So number one position, we have something that's above 120 to 300 times X. This one's higher. There's not even a number on it. So this is number one position. This one's obviously number two. This is 120 to 300 X. This one I found to be 41 times. Again, guys, do the research. This is just full academics today. Full academics, 41X higher than anabolic versus methyl testosterone. That's that standard scientifically. Number four position, keep moving, halo test. It's an oral, it's out of the nandrolone drugs, oral methylated testosterone, 20 times more strong than methyl testosterone, 20. 
So we're going down from hundreds of times. We're down to 41. Now we're down to 20. In the fifth position, we have another monster, Nandolone monster, Ment, methyl nortestosterone, which this is not a chemical drug either. Some of these, these other drugs were out there for a while. This, some of these are veterinarian drugs. It's crazy, right? And Trenbolone's vet drug, very limited for Parabolone for a human drug for a very short time, way back in the day. This one right here actually may be some kind of a biologic uh, for TRT, meant you could look at meant, but it's definitely not a drug now. Very complicated. Again, the, the science and the politics on it. So this is this is a nandolone-based uh, drug. This is 10 times. So when you think meant is a monster, that's 10 times more anabolic than testosterone in primates. I, I dug up all the research. I did a lot of... You won't even get this research. You won't see the stuff I found here on the internet. You won't see it. This is in Bill Llewellyn's book. This is in nooks and crannies because I talked to the top gurus in the steroid bodybuilding steroid world because I access these guys and I thank you guys. You bro science guys, man. Some of you guys, as long as you're not bad guys and you're selling and hurting people, that scares me. But the truth of the matter is this is a crazy world. And these guys are just geniuses, but they're not chemical doctors. A lot of them, some of them are, of course we know, but most of them are not clinical doctors like me where they're seeing the side effects in the streets of the stuff. I'm bringing that together for you guys. So number fifth position is men 10 times greater than, than, than testosterone, at least in primates. We're primates. So number six is Tren. It's an injectable nandolone derived drug. Everyone knows Tren. That's the number one strongest drug in the world, isn't it? But it's number six here. It's three times more androgenic. Again, that's the word. Andro they, they say androgenic than tea. I found it in the, in the Wellens book. I hope Bill Llewellyn's right. I, I would assume he's right. His book is amazing. It, the Anabolics, he's had 11 copies of the thing, 11 renditions, 3X. This is only, so this trend is really three times, you know, three times greater than testosterone. When you look up up here, you're going up to 100 times. I mean, this is just hard to even believe. Woo! So there it is, guys. When you look at the strongest steroid in the world, is it actually trend? Because it's the one that's used. So you think about that. When you look at what's the strongest steroid in the world, you have to look at the streets for the reality because, well, what's really used? These can't be used because they're so toxic. But what is the strongest steroid. This is science right here. And I hope this was entertaining for you guys because it was when I did the research on this, I, it just gets my brain thinking of how amazing the whole steroid world is and where we're going to be with steroids one day, a hundred years from now. So please, please be careful, gentlemen. And if you've never done steroids or you're not on testosterone and you're a young man, you're doing your research and you respect me for the, the time I put into this, Please don't do it. Please know that if you do it, you're going to get shut down. And forget the other disease and the heart and the hair loss and the gyno and all this. The moodiness is bad. But if you do steroids, even a cycle of, of a SARM or something, you're, you're going to get shut down. You're going to like it potentially and you're going to want to do more and more. Pulse cycle therapy doesn't work to bring back your brain from what the steroids do, don't believe anyone that tells you it because it's just not clinically true. Could it help? Yes, it can. Is it good for fertility, HCG and clomid? Yes, yes. But does it redo the changes to the brain from the steroids that you've taken? And sundry steroids, many steroids, especially trend. Will it? Will the post cycle therapy guarantee that your testicles will come back? The answer, gentlemen, is no. Please believe me, because my job is full with a waiting list of patients waiting to come see me that are on testosterone because they shut themselves down. Please believe me. I'm not selling anything to you guys here. You want to sell something? Get on my app so I can access more information for you and give you more help about what's going on in the world. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We have to get comments on this. Have you guys seen this stuff? What is this stuff? What is that? What the hell is that? Let's 
get some comments on this. Tell me what's going on in the world about this drug, especially these top two drugs. The check drops, the halo test, and the ment and the trend, that's old news. What's going on with these two drugs? I want to know. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I really hope this helps young men in the world to understand what steroids are and the truth. Thank you.